For some, the battleship North Carolina can be a spooky place. For others, they're convinced that it's haunted. Luckily, the ghost hunters are in town to get to the bottom of it. I only uh, ghost hunt in places that are having azalea festivals. Festival season or not, the battleship is a major attraction for ghost hunters. But when you're investigating the battleship, it's almost like the ship itself has these memories and these things kind of play out. This isn't the Sci-Fi Channel's ghost hunters first time on the ship. They say they've seen its paranormal activity. A lot of uh, moving objects in the dining hall. Even our production crew at the time noticed some of the trays and stuff sliding around. But with Wilmington, a city rich in history, the activity doesn't stop with the ship. I think Wilmington is a highly active town. We have a lot of um, a lot of case reports that we've done here locally that are all in a smaller concentrated area. The hunters will venture out onto the ship at night and paying customers will be along for the ride. But often people are skeptical of the unknown, especially with guys. Guys, you know, hey guys, you got to get punched and thrown across the ship before you're going to believe anything. <laughs> so a lot of times when the guys have the experiences, big hulky guys go, whoa, it touched me or something like that happens. They, they change their whole mind. I'll walk up at them and go, yeah, well, what'd you think, buddy? You know, whether the port city truly is a ghost city or not may be up for debate, but this crew is pretty convincing. <gasps> I can't believe this stuff is for real. And I go, uh, yeah, <laughs> but that that's important. Because then it gets people to understand that, you know, all of us just aren't running around, you know, making up ghost stories because sure. they're actually experiencing things. Whether you're a believer or not, the hunters say all you need to do is step onto a ship like this at nighttime when the lights are out and you'll believe. At the Battleship North Carolina, Tim Buckley, WWAY News Channel 3.